Hi guys, I'm Connor. I'm from Team 118, and I'm gonna be showing you around our facility today. Starting off, this is our pit area. So we try to keep our pits set up while we're not at competitions. So it's easy to work on stuff in the pit, easy to stock the pits, and of course, easy to fix the robot if we have damage. This is our pit mascot, Kadon. Uh, he sits right up here while we work. So each subsystem can decide how many boxes they want. It's based off necessity, really. So intake has three boxes, diverter two, climb two. We actually bring an additional box for every bot in case there's an every bot that has an issue and every bot's broken. Then we have stock to make sure they get fixed. So this is where we build quite a bit of our robot is throughout these tables. So subsystems actually get to choose how many tables they want and where they want to put their table. And then a lot of the work gets done. So this is like intake's table. So throughout the year, intake has built on this table and kind of just lived on this table. It works a little differently for avionics and software. They have separate areas, but most of the mechanical is centered right along this row of tables. All right, so this is where we store most of our tools. And uh, it does look like a lot, but throughout the season and throughout prototyping, this wall is mostly empty as the students work on our prototypes, the students work on our robots. And then right over here is where we store all of like the non-powered hand tools. We have snips, uh, the burring tools, pretty much everything that you could think of that you might need when manufacturing a part or just in general when prototyping. This machining area really is the heart of the Robonauts. The ability to quickly manufacture prototypes and or quickly manufacture flight parts uh, really allows us to try new things rapidly. So this area is the blue bins. We store most of our fasteners, uh, parts, and just uh, general robot construction stuff over here. During the build, build phase and the competition season, if you need anything, you'll normally be able to walk up here and just grab it. This is where our software students work on the team. It's a great spot because it's field side, so if they need to work and or develop on Autons, they're right here to reset and run the robot. So this is where we store our robots from past years and past years every bot. Uh, it's definitely a great place to come walk back to in need of inspiration if you think you can draw some ideas from the past. Uh, I know I personally walk over here quite a bit to get some ideas. So. The robot I come to most often for inspiration is Horizon. Uh, we needed a new idea for rollers on the diverter this year and walked over here, remembered that uh, moon wheels are a thing and tried them out on the note. So we call this area the competition gym. This is where we host our VEX events for VEX EDR and VEX IQ. We have four VEX EDR fields that are used. And then we have two skills fields in the back. Uh, we have the same for VEX IQ. So currently in our district, we have 101 VEX IQ teams and 43 VEX EDR teams. All of those teams come to this facility to compete, as well as teams from all across the state. So this is actually the Robonaut. It is the robotics project uh, that our team is named from. This is uh, one of them from NASA, and it uh, gets to chill around our facility while we work. Thank you so much for touring our facility, and we hope to see you in person next year.